The kids that Hinata will be taking care walk downstairs talking about what would their new babysitter looks like. Before the two start fighting Kotaro immediately interfere by standing in between them. The kids reach the living room still hiding and observing who will be their babysitter. Taka standing while holding up his sword. From afar in the living room, while Hinata is having a quick talk with the two in charge people in the house Shugawara and Daichi, they can hear a little wrestling from afar. That's probably the children. Hum, where? Hinata eagerly looked around with an excitement plastered on his face. He loves kids so much that he is eagerly looking for them. Now I know why Hitoku recommend him. Let them, don't look around. Why? They are curious on their new babysitter, so they are probably talking about you. Just listen to them whispering. Sorry Hinata, they mistook you for a lady. It's okay. It always happened. Kids, if you want to meet your new babysitter, why don't you come here? For a short second, the rustling stop, but not so long they come out running. Cute. The kids are standing there shyly as if it's their first time meeting a pretty guy. Ahem, why don't you do the naming train? The kids immediately introduce themselves one by one. They're so cute. Hinata there is also an infant her name is Midori but she's still sleeping. Hi kids. Sorry but I am not a lady. I am a man. Kotaro didn't say anything and he hugged Hinata. Seeing this the other babies also hugged him. You guys are cute. Suga and Daichi were both shocked. Usually Takuma would act shy but not this time. Wow. Really? Kieran made a grabby hands, and Hinata immediately carried her. Kieran peeked on Hinata's cheek. You too. Hinata smiled brightly looking at it. Kieran reminded him of something. Ashback. Kieran is cooking with their toys when she heard a ringing sound coming from the couch. <laughs> At that moment she is alone in the room so she decided to grab the phone. She was about to accept the call but the call suddenly got cancelled. The moment the phone call cancelled it revealed the phone lock screen. She saw a stolen picture of a redhead. End of flashback. Pretty big brother do you know someone named Shinsuke? Hum? Ah. Uh, oh yes I have a classmate named Shinsuke. Okay. Kids lead him to the playroom. Don't cause trouble, understand? So what are we gonna do? I don't know. Kotaro calm down. But for real though, what are we gonna do? Hinata Shoyo is here. Yeah, so shut up, he might hear you. So Chibi Chin is here. Should we talk to him? We'll talk first. Seriously, why don't you do it first? <coughs> See, you also can't. Why not ask the kids for help? That's a brilliant idea, Omi. I am surprised you know that word. Hey, that is not that deep. Back to the topic. Let's ask the kids. That moment Osamu finished his sentence, the door suddenly opened. What are you doing here? What happened my little brothers? What happened? You are overreacting Sumu. Sometimes I am wondering how did you become my brother? I second that. Hey, Kay I am still your big bro and Samuel we are literally twins. Anyways what are you doing here twins? 
Aren't you supposed to be playing with your new babysitter? Pretty big brother. And. Did he just call us extras? The boys looked at each other using telepathy to talk to each other. This is a chance. We know Kotaro. Soon, wanna go. No is never an answer to the situation. The twin brothers are standing in front of the door eagerly waiting for the answer. We will play with you Kazu and Taku. They arrived at the playroom and was surprised mainly the guys when they saw Hinata wearing a princess dress. Shout out to this people who interacted with me in the comments. And big thank you for giving me almost 400 subscribers. And by the way here is my wit account. I have a lot of Hinata harem stories that I didn't post on YouTube. Go check it out.